other day I watched Best Gamer Ali's interview with Timos Mektawa and he had a couple of good questions about DLC 2 and about the game overall. But when he asked about the difference between um, DLC 2 and the following, Timon said that these two things will be two different things and they can't be compared. He also said that it's just gonna be like big story DLC and new addition to Dying Light rather than the biggest addition to Dying Light. And that's where my concerns arise because since he said that it's different and all, I think we might not get everything that we want and as we I mean as fans because I saw comments about like dirt bike animals hunting and honestly I don't think these things are gonna be in DLC 2 and that's sad to say actually because I would love to see like actually like big DLC where you can like move around with this dirt bike and the dirt bike actually like comes many times where you know we could uh, we could always get buggy again right but it just won't be the same feeling and my next concern is that the map won't be big and like in the following the map is like <laughs> literally two times bigger than the main game Maybe not literally, but you get what I'm saying, it's big, that's why you got the baggy. Now, uh, in this interview, Timon said that it's gonna have like different environment and everything. So I'm thinking it's gonna be like more vertical than the main game and probably will have more details than the main game. But at the same time, it it will be so packed with these details and like environmental verticality that you basically won't have anywhere to go with the dirt bike so that's probably gonna be scrapped and the third thing is about animals because <laughs> we all saw that there there are animal files in the in the game and like we have dogs there were there were animations for dogs there were gonna be crows in the game for some reason like in Days Gone or something and we're probably gonna get some new zombie types probably not some Dead Island Solar Festival shit but like so something new or maybe like <laughs> some new caustic or like fire elemental zombies that are basically like something boring that's not something I wish for the DLC, but like, I don't think Techland is gonna deliver massively on this. And that's my last concern. I would really wish for Techland to succeed on this, but they've been like disappointing so many times that I don't know if this DLC 2 is gonna be like a good thing. Like, it's gonna be probably like fine 7 maybe 8 out of 10 I'm not predicting this but like at this moment I'm not sure that this DLC is gonna be great because like in my opinion this DLC should be a total love letter for fans where it's basically like not only a massive community update but also like absolutely massive DLC you have Shadow of the Elf Tree coming this year in like couple months it's probably gonna be like totally different game maybe not like for 60 hours but maybe for like 10 or even 20 and and then you have dlc 2 for dying like that doesn't even have like premiere date and probably is gonna be underwhelming compared to elden ring and i know that i shouldn't compare these two games because like from software is basically a like different quality of games but at the same time the gaming space is like a business and for Techland as a creator it should be like important to win over 
their fans. And it should be important from the economical standpoint, where great DLC equals big amount of players and big amount of players equals traction and money and it's like basic economy. <laughs> cutting edges here and there or like cutting entire content and like deleting some stuff and adding some stuff that players probably won't like is not worth it at this point. It should be like straightforward. Just ask players what they want and do what they want. Not every idea because you know some people have like ideas of I don't know adding Shrek or something into the game. Not these ideas but the good ones that have most of the likes on the ideas page or like listening to youtubers uh, like best gamer Ali or Oni Zombies. <laughs> Not me because like you know <laughs> I'm too small for that right now. But like listening to fans and not cutting literally like anything and and focusing on this for 120 percent not 120 fucking 200 percent it should honestly be like the best dlc in gaming history and i know that that's hard to do but i really think techland has it in them to make it the greatest dlc Probably not like better than Elden Ring because you know from software stands with like <laughs> always win over the argument. I I I know that Techland is capable of doing something great. And that takes me to my last concern. Where I personally think that the art in gaming is basically like dying. Everything is about money and about making this money. Like Look at Ubisoft, they've been literally like releasing the same game for the past, I don't know, like six years or maybe even eight. They've been improving, yes, but they've been like regressing a lot too. And Ubisoft used to be like the best gaming company that they, they delivered us Far Cry 3, original Assassin's Creed. Like these games are basically like cult classics. But right now it's like milking a uh, old cow that basically just gives money that basically just gives money but at the same time it's just the same thing and no one is like i think no one is actually like waiting for the new assassin's creed game or something and i see this in a lot of games where you have just basically like remakes where okay remakes are cool you know because like times moved on but at the same time like making old game just to have money and <laughs> even selling microtransactions in this game that didn't used to have them is something strange and weird in my opinion but as i said like i personally think that devs should basically like sacrifice themselves not i don't mean sacrifice as in crunching for 12 hours but sacrificing themselves as to deliver the art into the DLC 2 of Dying Light and for it to feel like maybe it won't be the greatest DLC but for us to feel that at least they tried at least they tried not to make a DLC but they tried to make a great DLC that's something I want to see in DLC 2 this like artistry and dedication where it's not anymore about the money but rather than sending a message that Techland is capable of doing great things. So yeah, I think that's about it. That's about all of my concerns about the DLC 2. And if you watched to this moment, absolutely thank you. And I hope to hear your concerns or your doubts about DLC 2. Or positive things to say. Like if you genuinely think that Techland is gonna deliver something great and massive then to say it. Anyway, have a nice day. <laughs>